Hi, my name is Ryan King, aka Dr. Fu Barson, even though I'm not a real doctor or a real Barson. Um, I just, I watched that video, it was funny, it was uh, well executed, but um, I just wanted to clarify what actually happens when you get to Judgment Day. Um, it is not a list of all the good things versus all the bad things that you did and you, hopefully the good things are more and you win and you go in. Um, because if that, if that was the case, uh, we would all lose. All of our bad things far outweigh all of our good things. Um, I'm looking at Romans 3.23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So the standard is not our goodness. It's not good compared to another person. It's good compared to God. And obviously none of us comes close. Go forward a few pages and you get Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So the cost of those sins is to go to hell. It's to be separated from God forever. And that is worse than the little loading screen. It's to be departed from love, from light, from peace, from joy, from goodness, from everything that is, is God. You take that and you subtract that from existence, and that's what hell is. And that's where we deserve to go because of our sins. Um, but the good news is the second half of that verse. It says, but the, the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, Christ is willing to take all of our punishment, all of our shame, and just throw it away. He died on the cross so that we wouldn't have to. Uh, so that we wouldn't have to go to hell. So that we wouldn't have to be separated from God. And go forward a little bit further now. It says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. So, that's basically our part, is to accept the gift, the free gift of forgiveness, of redemption, of salvation. That's about all we have to do. And, uh, you know, from there, there's a lot more. The, living the Christian life is a huge adventure, and it's complicated, and there's a lot of debate about exactly how to live it, but... The point is that all you do is you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and open up your heart to Him and He will enter you and become part of your life. And then you can be assured because of this promise that you are going to heaven. You're not going to go down to hell, but you will enter in. And it doesn't have anything to do with the good things you've done or the bad things you've done. So I just I pray that you'll be blessed and feel free to... Leave comments. Uh, I'd like to hear from you, uh, good or bad. So, all right, that's all.